Welcome to another day of my VCV Rack experiments. I'm Oblaut and I'm doing a 50 day challenge in which at least six days out of the week I will make a new patch for VCV Rack and that way get to know it better. Today I've taken the liberty to combine the ambient online forums image inspired there with my VCV REC experiments. This is the cover I made from the image. And as you see, it's some kind of construction site on which I imagine there might be musicians running around wildly, hitting, tapping, making music on whatever materials they find there, resulting in an obstacle course blues. All right, let's have a look at the actual patch. As you see, I started with these three scopes because I just think it's beautiful. I have three voices today from three resonators that make beautiful sounds. Okay, let's have a look at the cables here. Zoom out so we can see everything. Okay, this is my patch. From the clock to the audio out. Three voices, three scopes. I'm using a couple of modules I saw in Talking Rackheads. This mixer, Mixovnik from Coral FX. It's got a really nice feature that it has this link. You can link two channels so that you only need to move one fader to get both stereo channels up or down. Isn't that cool? Downside I think of this mixer is that it is huge. But it also does have 60 channels, so you could have eight stereo channels here. So it is definitely useful. I'm also trying out this quad sequencer that Talking Records uh, mentioned from Aplesense modules. The really nice thing about this sequencer is that it has a probability knob. So you can dial in some variations that are probability based. You don't have to program everything. But you will see that sometimes it skips a step more than just sometimes because I've dialed in quite a bit of probability. And that gives us some lovely variations. The mixer, let me show you here, uh, has a center to these two delays, so we get some stereo delays, which is pretty much a Berlin School style, although it's not really a Berlin School patch result. Slightly inspired, definitely. Okay, the three voices. So I have three outs here for the sequencer. One goes here, one goes there, and the yellow one here in the middle. And I have three sets of voices um, with an offset quantized Bernoulli gate and a resonator. Okay, first one. For some reason, this first one ended up on this side. So, we go to the offset, we lower the whole voltage per octave, and we end up with a bass sounding thing. This goes into Flux voltage processor, which is basically functioning as an uh, amplifier 
and the out goes here. So let's solo this. It's this lovely bass. So from the sequencer, uh, it gets into this offset. So we get a lower tuning. It goes into the quantizer, which is set to the deep blue scale. And then this goes into the voice productive of the resonator. This resonator is in modulated in harmonic string mode, which results in a slightly messy waveform here. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, the strum comes out of the Bernoulli gate, uh, which gets its input from the clock. And of course, I'm using this gate so that we don't get a constant string of notes, but we get some nice variation here. Okay, if you're wondering what this uh, LFO is doing here, huh, it's just changing the colors of the scopes. It has nothing to do with the sound. Okay, next. This voice was the one I actually started with here in the middle scope. Gets the input from this. Row. It's also offset a little bit, goes through the quantizer, and again, not again, which gets the input from the beat here the clock, but it's strummed from one of the outputs on the ring of the game. Which gives us nice variation. Pretty simple. This resonator is in modal resonator mode, just like this one. And this one sounds like this. And it's a completely different structure, position, and gives us a more metallic sound. Beautiful waveform here. And that's basically my patch for today. I've uploaded a track to uh, SoundCloud, so if you want to listen to the track properly, even download it, remix it, whatever. Um, I'm adding the link below the video in the description. Check it out and uh, hope to see you tomorrow.